Hello everybody, hope you're doing great. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Drop a like, subscribe, press the bell icon. Also check out the top right eye for more nice links. The purpose of this video is just to show you very quickly where we're at at this moment with this series now we have about 200 videos here we're gonna be growing uh, by the time you watch this maybe we're at 300 who knows but this game is by no means done there's a lot of things left to do but sometimes it helps to see what you're gonna be doing and what the what the end goal is at least a goal further ahead so you don't get lost in all these hundreds of videos so let me show you what's going on in this series what we have done is we have created a kind of game engine and we've created an editor created a lot of functionality that is very dynamic like the GUI systems a lot of different component systems everything like that that just connects together nicely so let me show you guys the files we have we have AI here components I just mentioned which we then connect into our entity system we have a lot of configuration files for key bindings graphics all kinds of stuff um, we have our entity system which contains the enemies and the player and the base classes we have an entire GUI system one specific for the player GUI and one for the game GUI why we have pre-compiled headers here it's not a big thing but it's good to know that we're using that we have an entire item and inventory system which we haven't really completed at this point in time when i'm creating this video in the future by the time you watch it there'll probably be an entire inventory uh, random drops all that stuff so so you you got that to look forward to we have a tile map system which is really nice and optimized so you can have an open world and it's just gonna render and update the tiles within the window and the stuff around the player so you can have a big huge map without any performance loss we have different types of tiles enemy spawning and and AI, like I mentioned before, so that's kind of connected. We also have shaders going. So SFML, OpenGL shaders, very simple ones at that, but we're actually rendering everything using the shader. So we have a little light source at the player, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then we have an editor and states and stuff like that, which is really cool, really makes it really easy for us to just segregate or separate the code for different states. For example, the main menu and the game state, the editor state, the setting state. So we have different states for different menus basically and different parts of the game. We have a few systems as well. We haven't implemented a particle system yet, but that will probably be end by the time you're watching this, most probably in the future. And then we have a text tag system already, which pops up sp small text and it's quite dynamic. So let me just go ahead and jump in and show you the game at this point in time. So this is the main menu state. It just contains a few buttons and a few links to other states so let's start off at the bottom here at the editor so if i click editor we have an editor state i can press escape and i can load my current map and i will just load in and you'll see how the culling is working here culling means basically that we're not updating and rendering things that are outside of the view or outside of a certain point. So right now I have the mouse position as my culling point, center point for the culling. So you'll see I'm not updating and rendering stuff around that point. This is what would be happening in the game as well. I can move my camera around. The red points here basically are enemy spawners. So I've, I've done that. I have different states in this editor state as well. So I have tiles here that I can render. And then if I press page up, I come to this enemy spawner thing where I can add different enemy spawners and stuff like that for different enemy types i can press escape and save that if i want but i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna quit out to the main menu state again and we have a stack running these states so it's very easy to push and pop states off of that stack and we have little settings that we haven't completed yet but basically we can change the resolution with this gui element we created now all the gui stuff buttons you see are created by us and it's not any other library external library so you'll learn how to do this by your own so let's just click back and get out of that let's jump into the game so when you look at the game you'll see that we have a few enemies and they have a very simple following AI and they have something called a movement component which allows their movement to be very different so you'll see the rat is slow and sluggish while the bird is just flying past me and trying to get to my point where I am and I'll just attack it and kill it and you see those text tags popping up whenever I attack or kill something and you'll see I'm gaining exp the damage numbers whenever I take damage it will show up as well as a red thing here so it's very dynamic I can choose where to put these text tags and how they should look we have a simple GUI up here with a level HP and the EXP I can press C to bring up a very simple GUI that we're working on right now just to see some more data on the player and we have of course the shader that I was talking about here with the little light source everything it affecting everything we don't have shadows but we have a simple light which makes it a little nicer I think we have collision here so it's not the best right now but it works just fine so I can try to move into stuff where I where I've set collision and it won't work 
as you can see here and the enemies have collision as well so all the entities have collision to the world which is pretty cool so there you go guys that's pretty much the game we have a few camera here as well as you can see a lot of small polishing details that we've added it's really good to polish your game as we as you code so you go nothing more than that guys i mean you can quit the game from here as well you can quit the application and you're good and we have a lot of files as you can see i'm slowly working to make this a very polished and nice game that you guys can make i apologize for the first few hundred videos here that their quality isn't the best uh, i started really focusing on quality later in the series there's another series started which will be just like this but for a side scroller which is called the lua c plus plus sfml side scroller and there i'm focused on video quality from the very start so i really suggest you guys check that out i really up my game on how i produce my videos and how i prepare for them so i always code now beforehand and I make notes and then I follow those notes to really give you a good concise tutorial on each step instead of just going freely like I used to do here so check it out still I really really do hope you guys enjoy this series this is where we are right now but it will be a lot more advanced as we go take care best of luck let me know if there's anything I can do join the discord as well guys if you have questions and I'll see you in the next one bye bye